All right, we need to introduce a little bit of mathematical terminology. So we're going to talk about terms and polynomials. So first of all, the definition. A term is a product. OK, so you're multiplying a couple things together. What are we multiplying together? A number and one or more variables raised to positive whole number exponents. OK, so basically just a number multiplied by a variable with positive exponents positive whole number exponents. So for example, looking at some terms here, these would be terms like 3x squared is a term, right? It's a number 3 multiplied by a variable raised to a positive whole number exponent. Likewise, so is negative 1 half x squared y cubed. This would be a term as well. And then finally, so would y squared. So what's important is that the exponents are positive whole numbers. Um, some examples of non-terms. So these would be expressions that are not terms. Um, something like this, 3x to the 1 half. Do you see why that's not a term? Well, the problem is, is that the exponent, even though it's positive, it's not a whole number. So this would not be a term. And likewise, so same with something like this, 4x to the negative second. So again, the problem is that the exponent is negative here, not a positive whole number. OK, so if you have a term, so let's go back to a term, and you have something like this, uh, let's say 7x squared y cubed. OK, the numerical part of the term, that is the 7 in this case, that has a special name. That's called the coefficient of the term. That's a very important word for us, the coefficient. So the, co the coefficient is just the numerical part of the term, OK? So here the coefficient is 7, doesn't include the variables. Here the coefficient would be 3. Here what would the coefficient be? It would be negative 1 half. And then here the coefficient would be the positive number 1. OK, also with a term, we have um, another, an some more terminology. We have what's called the degree of the term. So to get the degree of a term, what you do is you add the exponents. So you add the exponents. So the degree of the term 7x squared y cubed well, you add the exponents and you get the degree is equal to 5. Okay? And the degree of something like um, just uh, 1 half, let's say, x, y squared, what would the degree of that be? Well, this one's a little tricky, actually, because, well, we see that the exponent of the y is 2, but there's an exponent here of the x that's unwritten. There's really a 1 right here. So 2 plus 1, the degree of this term would be three. Okay, so now that we see what terms are, let's go ahead and see what, what we can do with them. So um, the first thing we can do is we can combine terms. So we can create terms or we can create what are called polynomials by adding terms. So a polynomial is defined to be a sum of terms. Now I'm using that word sum to mean not only addition, but, um, but subtraction as well. So remember, addition can be viewed as adding a negative. So this really, re really refers to addition or subtraction. So let me give you some examples of polynomials. Something like this. 4x squared minus x plus 3. So first of all, do you see the terms? The first term would be 4x squared. The second term would be negative x. So the negative always goes with the term that follows. So the coefficient of this term is a negative 1 right here. And the third term would be positive 3. Let me give you another example of a polynomial. How about something like 27x cubed minus 8. So the first term would be 27x cubed. And the second term would be negative 8. And then maybe try another one here. How about something like negative 2xy squared? OK, so let's go ahead and look at these in a little more detail. 
This first polynomial, as we said, it has three terms, right? One, two, three. For that reason, we call it a trinomial. So that prefix tri is telling us that you're thinking about three terms, right? Like tricycle has three wheels, a tripod has three legs, and so on, okay? This polynomial, that is a polynomial with only two terms, well, what would we call that? That's right, we call it a binomial. So that prefix bi is to make us think of two, two terms, right? Like biped, walking with two legs, or bifocals, two lenses. Now finally, this last one, you might say, wait a minute, that's not a polynomial, right? So a polynomial, according to this definition, it's a sum of terms. And you look at this and you say, well, I only see one term, it's not a sum. That's true, because a polynom polynomial is not only a sum of terms, comma, or a single term. That's a little confusing. But a polynomial doesn't have to be a sum. We also consider the case of a single term. We consider this to be a polynomial as well. Now because there's only one term, we have a special name for that as well. We call that a monomial. Okay, and mon or mono is to make us think of one like monorail, single rail, or um, like a monocle, you know, um, like a single lens, those little, instead of glasses, people have a, a little lens that you bring to your eye, a single lens, or a monopoly, right? Control of everything by one corporation, if you will. Okay, so these are all examples of polynomials. Um, now, a little more terminology coming your way. So we said a trinomial is a, is a polynomial with three terms. Now, we can also assign what we call the degree of this polynomial. Now, you might think that you add the exponents together, but you don't. What you do is you look at all the terms, so one, two, three terms, and you look at the term that has the highest degree, and that would be this one right here. And the degree of that term is two, and for that reason, we also give the polynomial a degree of two as well. So this is a trinomial that would be a second degree trinomial. Second degree trinomial. So polynomials, the degree of a polynomial is named after the degree of the leading term. Let's go on to this one. So the degree of this polynomial would be third degree. So this would be a third degree polynomial. Okay. And of course, the degree of this would be three as well because um, it only has a single term. Now, second degree polynomials are often called quadratic. So you're gonna hear us call this a quadratic polynomial because it's second degree. And third degree polynomials are often called cubic. So you'll, you'll hear people say, oh, it's a cubic polynomial. You know that the uh, polynomials of third degree Okay, why don't we get a little practice um, making use of all this new terminology. Okay, let's do an example. Let's say that we wanted to identify the degree of this polynomial, the coefficients, and what we call the leading term. Okay, so first of all, the degree. As we talked about a moment ago, what you do is you look at all the terms, right? So in this case, there are one, two, three, four terms. And the degree of the whole polynomial is the degree of the term of highest, de is the degree of the term with highest degree. And that would be this term. So the degree of this polynomial is third degree. Okay? So this would also be called a cubic polynomial. Um, okay, the coefficients. So as we mentioned, the coefficients are the numerical part of the terms, right? So the first coefficient would be a three. The second coefficient would not just be a four, it would be a negative four. The negative goes with the number that follows. The next one would be a one half. And the final coefficient would be a negative five. Okay, and now leading term, 
What do we mean by that? The leading term for any polynomial is the polynomial that has the highest degree, or sorry, is the term of the polynomial with the highest degree. So in this case, the leading term would just be all of 3x cubed. Okay, so again, you look at your polynomial, say, hey, which term has the, which term has the highest degree? Okay, and usually we write the highest degree term on the left, and we make our way down th degree of 3, degree of 2, degree of 1. Con this is called the constant term of degree 0. So right there, the constant, if you have one at the end, that's often called the constant term. And the constant term, that is a number we say is of degree 0. And the reason we say that is because you can view, for example, negative 5 as negative 5 times x to the 0. And what is x to the 0? Well, that's positive 1. Okay, so you can always view the constant term as a uh, term of degree 0. And the leading term, as we said, is the, uh, is the term with the highest degree. Now the number associated, that is the coefficient associated with the leading term, that's called the leading coefficient. So the leading coefficient is the coefficient of the leading term of the polynomial. Okay, so we're going to be using this terminology um, quite a bit in algebra, so it's important that we're familiar with terms and polynomials. See you next time.